it's still going to be a long road finding out why and how they ended up in the river. Right now at 6, the location of where Brian Goff and Joni Davis's car and bodies were found in the Ohio River has now become a makeshift shrine. How the families are remembering their loved ones right now. Forensic scientists are examining the remains after underwater divers discovered their blue Oldsmobile last week. Thanks for joining us tonight for 7 News at 6. I'm Katherine Guyon. In a story you will only see on 7 News, DK Wright takes us to the scene where it was found where there is now grieving and questioning and hope. For the family, there is some sense of relief. Yes, we found them and I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm glad they were together. At least that we know where they are finally and they're with God. But they are baffled at how they got to this spot. While it's a known spot for fishing and campfires, it is not a place where Brian Goff and Joni Davis, who had ironclad habits and driving routes, ever went. I find myself driving down the road thinking of what happened to them still, and there's a lot of questions to be answered, and I hope everything comes out. They're grateful to Chaos Divers, the Illinois dive team who took this case upon themselves and found the Oldsmobile that so many others had searched for. That's what they do for. They want to help families. They're good people. Couldn't ask for better people. And they're grateful to others who also marked this place with remembrances. I want to thank the other people who brought the flowers up. Um, you know, unfortunately, this will be the spot that everybody remembers them, you know, where they were found. As they go about the process of remembering, honoring, and grieving, they can't close the door on questions that remain. It's still going to be a long road finding out why and how they ended up in the river. The case continues to be under investigation by the Belmont and Jefferson County Sheriff's Departments and the FBI.